I survived USADA. First, they said I, I was guilty of having picograms. Then they considered me innocent, which I don't think that was ever the case. Then next picograms became legal, which I don't know if that's the case. The BS no contest over DC needs to be taken off my record. I never cheated this sport and I will stand by that until the day I die. I'm the GOAT. My part about it is when did Pico, is that, did they say the picogram is illegal? Did they, I, I, mean, I don't know. I didn't follow that. John's had a lot of uh, running. <laughs> it's, it, it, and... it's been some, it's been some things, but for me, I feel like, again, people will try to rewrite history. You can't rewrite history. There's going to be a time. You remember, you know, Wait, you watch hold on, baseball. hold on. Okay. I had to look this up, Daniel. Um, okay. This is, he also tested positive for comophene and letrozole. Yeah. That was a different time. Yeah it, was, it was, yeah, it was multiple times. But again, you could try to rewrite history. It'll be like during baseball, there was the steroid era. And all yes. those guys don't get to go into the Hall of Fame. Well, we well only back, some of them, only the most notable, like Bonds yes. is in the Hall of Fame, but certain other people are. Bonds and Clemens and yeah. Sammy and Mark McGuire. Mm -hmm. Like those guys don't go into the Hall of Fame every year. When yes. we look back on 2015 to 2023 as the USADA era, and will these guys that had these things deal with issues going forward in terms of tainting their resume, especially if someone that is middling now becomes an absolute stu superstar after the USADA is gone from the UFC. But let me say this. You, yeah. you don't get to rewrite history. You, you, you don't get to say, well, first off, I don't believe that it's all true. And that, this is like one of the reasons that Jones and I could never truly just come to a common ground because sometimes you just say whatever you want. Now I'm going to take time to look after myself. I'm not going to fight for a long time. I'm right. definitely not going to retire because I know me. I'm not, I'm not leaving no. that. I know me. But if, if I did, I'm fine. But yeah. I don't need to prove anything else. But I know what I can do and I know what I can change in my lifestyle to make my body adapt to where I need to be. So I'm going to heal myself up. You won't see me fight for a long time. I can talk about how I think it's going to go down. I think Volk's too damn good for it to not be, uh, you know, a five round fight unless it's Volk that gets the finish. I, I don't know. I don't see Islam putting him away. I can see him winning the fight for sure because the dude's a, an absolute monster. Let's not kid ourselves here. But dude, I think it's going to be a battle. Even on 10 days notice, I think Volk's too damn good uh, to get finished early or something like that. I, th I think we're at least getting into the fifth round. I think the only concern that I have for Volkanovski, and it's the unknown, we don't know what he's been doing. Excuse yeah. me. We don't know how hard he's been pushing himself. Because you know, when he was when he was fighting Islam the first time, of course, he's gonna he's going up a weight class. He's gonna bulk up. He's gonna try and add muscle. He's working with Craig Jones or whoever it was, doing everything he can, yeah. doing a long extended camp. This is last minute. Now, granted, all of that work, the fight was only February, six months ago or eight months ago, whatever it was. Um, that's still in the tank. That's still money in the bank. The grappling exchanges, the things that he learned, all the rest of it, that's still there and he can still use it. The big question is how in shape is he? What is his yeah. cardio like? Now, granted, he's a professional. I don't think he's a party animal. You know, he's, he wasn't even breathing at the end of the last fight. He wasn't breathing hard. The real question is, can he go five rounds at the same pace as Islam? And if yeah. he can, then we got a real, real fight in our hands. But if he can't, I think that might tip the balance in favor to Islam. Have a look at this, lads. Yeah, just here on, top, on the top floor of my triple deck, getting a bit of walk in. And look who I see. Over here, that's Lorenzo for teeth, is yacht Lonian. There's a shadow yacht holder to carry all the toys. And next to it there is Uncle Frank's yacht. Uncle Frank where he is here. Yeah. So the gang is in town. Yeah, just getting a bit of walk in, lads. I'll be on you. I'll be over shortly. And there's my big rocket ship Lamborghini now. Salem boy as well. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, the Fertitas. Yep, the UFC. Baby, we did it. <laughs> See you in a bit, lads.